All right, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to let the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know that they are the true children of Israel spoken of in the Bible and that the so-called white people are known as Esau or Edom in the Bible, okay? They, uh, they, when they came out the womb, they, they father called them Esau in the Hebrew is I I Shashua, which means wasted away, okay? Because they have no pigment, all right? And then they got they name got changed to Edom, out of Wom, because they ate raw meat, just like they eat steak tartar nowadays, or they like their steak bloody. They don't like it well done, all right? So before we get into these scriptures, we want to give all praises to Yahweh Shem Shai. The one who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ, okay? And double honors to our apostles and elders of a great millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yahshua Allah, aka Israel. And salutation to the Akim out there enduring this truth, man. Alright? Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Yeah, yeah, read that again. Okay. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Yeah, because then you had a watchman and a watchman blew the trumpet if an enemy was coming to attack the city. Okay? And guess who the watchmen are? We are. And we blowing the trumpet. The trumpet is these scriptures, man. We're letting you know America's going to be destroyed. All right? By, uh, by thermonuclear fire in the third world war, okay? But before even, before all of that happened, the economy is gonna crash. They're gonna have martial law because they're gonna continue to do their false uh, flag attacks, which you Americans like to believe is actually ISIS nowadays, which is just crazy. Y'all probably still believe in 9-11, okay? So that trumpet being blown is us coming out here letting you know what's going to happen to this place, man. Okay, the famine, the martial law, the concentration camps, the uh, the uh, race riots, the protests, all of that, man. It's just a matter of time. Like, yeah, it seems dandy and everything is cool. I might even believe that the economy is going to bounce back, okay? But the only way the economy is going to bounce back is through the mark of the beast. Okay? Which through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, we know that it's the RFID chip. Alright? Or the very chip, if you want to call it. Go ahead. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I've said, Watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall neither hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Yeah, keep not silence. Mean, do the work, okay, to come out here. Get, uh, Jeremiah 28, 8. Okay, so those watchmen that won't keep silent is us. And no matter what y'all say, what y'all do, whether y'all believe or y'all don't, we're still going to come out here and tell y'all what's going to happen to this place. So when it happened to this place, you're going to be like, oh, man, I should have listened. But if you're a so-called white person, it doesn't matter anyway, man. I would say if you're an Edomite, which are mostly so-called white people. Okay, go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Yeah, so this is, it's, it's been happened before. It's, it's crazy that people read the Bible and they, no, they claim that they read the Bible or they claim that they're Christians. And then they come up here and say, why y'all got dresses on? This is not a dress, it's a garment. It's the same thing that John had on, the same thing the disciples had on, the same thing that the Lord had on. And when it gave the depiction of the Lord, it said his was what? Down to his foot and that it was green, girt about with a golden girdle. But then you come up in here and ask us, why do we have dresses on? That's because you don't read the Bible. That's because you don't believe in the Bible. You, this is what you do. Monday through Saturday, you smoke your cigarettes, you smoke your weed, you eat your pork, you commit all types of wickedness against the scriptures because your pastor said you had grace and that you can do that. 
and then you go to church on Sunday and pay your tights and go out of that church, then learn nothing and go right back and do the same thing. And then when we come out here and actually read out of the scriptures, you think that we crazy. What did it tell you in, uh, in the book of Nehemiah? Okay, what did Ezra's do? He got on the pulpit and he said he did what? He read out of the scriptures. He didn't sit up there and, the sense. Yeah, and gave the sense. He broke it down so that the people could understand. Okay? This is the all, all the churches do is just bring out prosperity scriptures to make you feel good that you can keep paying your tithes because they tax exempt as long as they don't tell you what's really going on. Go ahead. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries yep. and against great kingdoms yep. of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, okay. They prophesied against Nineveh, Babylon, uh, the Greeks, the Romans. Those are our, our countries and kingdoms that was prophesied the destruction of and it came to pass. So, here in these times, we're doing the same thing. America is known as Babylon in the scriptures, all right? It's also known as Sodom because they allow gay rights in this place. It's also known as Egypt because they uphold their customs and they enslave the people on this sign in this place as we was enslaved in Egypt, man, okay? So when you sitting there reading that story to your kids about Moses, just remember that those people that got saved out of, uh, out of Pharaoh's hand are now today the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and that this it's not even a kingdom because they worship women, but the so-called white man's dominion is going down. He's going down. Okay, that's it. If you, hey, you go max out your credit cards and all of that. Because that credit card ain't going to turn into nothing but a chip, which you're going to take. All right? Because you ain't got no faith. All right? And you're going to take that chip and just become, you're going to be destined for death as the scriptures say, man. Okay? But in the next rulership, that new heaven and new earth you ever read about or heard about, that new Jerusalem coming down, that's going to be our kingdom, man, where we are going to be the ones on top, okay? Where everything that happened to us is going to be go double unto the so-called white man. And that's true. If you don't believe so, please come and prove that it ain't because we can bring it out in the scriptures, man. Revelation chapter 18, verse 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works. Yeah, yeah. So that's part of the prophecies, man. That everything that we went through, they're going to go through. We had about 500 years of slavery. They're going to get a 1,000. All right? Hey, and it also tells you that that's the patience and faith of the saints. So for you to claim that you believe in the Bible, but you don't believe in that part, you're not a, you're not a faithful saint, man. All right? You just your average bullshit Christian doing what you want to do and going to church on Sunday. In that cup which she had filled, filled to her double. Yeah, in that cup which she had filled, filled to her double. That cup, man, was death, uh, murder, rape, rob, all right, distress. They foot on our necks, all of that, That's slavery. Everything that happened to us, man, that's that cup that we drink out of, man. And it's going to be filled unto them double. So just think about all the things Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans went through. And that's that cup. Now you do that times two, that's going to happen to the so-called white man. Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Yeah, so that's it right there, man. So you can't say we wrong for thinking like that or believing in that because it's a righteous thing to recompense uh, tribulation to them that trouble you. And who troubled us for so many years, man? The so-called white man has. Here it is. You put guns and drugs in our neighborhood and tell us to stop black-on-black -black crime, but you, won't, you don't want to give us jobs. And then y'all say we all equal. And then y'all say all you got to do is get up off your ass. And when I get up off my ass, you still don't want to give me a job. You see uh, uh, DeAndre Carter, and you just throw the damn uh, application in the trash, man. 
or Shanika Jenkins or something, you know? You know it ain't ain't Gary Wills, you know? Thomas Thomas Edwards. You know what I'm saying? You know it ain't one of your own, so you just throw it out, man. Alright? So don't sit here and talk about equality with us. Cause it ain't, it ain't we all ain't we ain't equal, man. Okay? This is y'all kingdom and y'all can have it. Alright? And then here our people is, they so fucking dumb that they rob each other. All the other nations got all the everything else, but you aren't seeing rob from your own. Right. And call yourself a man. I can't stand that shit, man. That shit pisses me off. And then you want to sit out, and then you want to go protest. You want to go protest against cops killing blacks, but then blacks is killing blacks and robbing blacks. Come on now. Go this way, y'all won't be on camera. Go this way, y'all won't be on camera. Y'all gonna get on camera. Probably can't speak a lick of English. Go ahead. Back where we was at, English. You see that? Y'all all on camera. That's why we coming. Don't wave at the camera because you look ugly on the camera. Go ahead. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. So a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. Yeah, that trumpet, man, is prophecies, all right? War drums. That's what we blowing right now, that trumpet of war, man. And Putin letting y'all ass know. Hey, he said if y'all Russian, come home, all right? Because we ready. As soon as somebody slip up and trip up and bump their head, somebody going to wound up dead, man. The Philippines. The Philippines said that uh, financially they're cutting off the, the United States. They're yep. separating themselves. And then they said they that with China right now. Yeah, huh? they, they said that, uh, and politically, China and Russia got an ally against the world. There you so go. what that tell you? That's that's the the world stage being set for the third world war. Yep. Because everybody got to pick a side. Got to pick a side. You know, I know in history books or when we was in school, they told you that you know you had the the Nazis or the the Axis powers versus the Allies. And they named like seven countries and then versus like four countries or something like that. But that's not how it was. Everybody chose a side. Every country in the world, that's why it was called a world war, not the European versus America war or something like that. It was a world war because everybody chose a side. You can, uh, I'm about to try and look it up now. They got on, a map, yeah. On, uh, even on Wikipedia, man, and it showed you. Uh, it showed you the list who was on this side and who was on that side, which consists of all countries, man. Okay, like the brother said, it's a world war, so nobody's exempt. Okay, the, well, the only country that was neutral is Switzerland, because Switzerland is neutral, period. And technically, nobody's supposed to um, invade them or do anything like that because they don't have a standing army. So-called white man to do anything that they want to do. You just put a terrorist group in they fucking exactly. land and go over there and hey, we gotta take it over. This is why we should have took it over a long time ago. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I mean that's another side of that. Yeah. But I remember looking it up a while back and it showed all the countries which was on each side though, man. Alright? But even if you do got a neutral country, they don't have a standing army. You know, that's why they would be, they would have to be neutral, which means they ain't even really in the war anyway. They ain't shooting nothing. Well, that's why, like, people have Swiss bank accounts and shit like that, because it's supposed to be neutral. But, shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it? Yeah, so the evil is bad things happening, man, okay? Anybody being put to death? Anybody getting robbed, this and that. The Lord controls everything, all right? The Lord controls everything. You might think because you went to work today, that's why you got robbed and you just, oh, I ain't going to work no more. The Lord just had it that way. You probably did something earlier that year or something to that case of where it happened. But that's why, why it says because uh, judgment is not executed speedily, therefore it's in the hearts of the sons of men to do evil, man. Because just because you go and steal something from somebody and you don't get caught, you think you all right. You think you all good. But then you get a brand new car and then 
the car gets stolen because you left it uh, left it running so your heat can be on, and then you just oh I gotta move about the hood. No, nigga, you gotta stop stealing and get into the scriptures, man. But that's just finding an excuse to do things your way, and the Lord don't roll like that, man. It ain't we don't get to come up here and prophesy the way that we want. All right, we gotta come right out of this book, man. Go ahead. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yeah, he revealeth his secrets unto his 